Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here with Alan Davis. You're an electric specialist from Caterpillar and this is your baby behind us, the 320. I've seen this machine for decades. So it's powered a 600 volt system, powered purely by a Caterpillar battery system. So what we're doing here is we're trying to give that user experience the same. So as our customers look to move over into the battery platform, they, they get that feel exactly like they had in the diesel. We can, we can respond as quick as we need to. So all of the tear out forces, everything, all of the attachments that they're used to working with on the diesel unit, we can carry straight over and, and support on this with our prototype build. Yeah. So, you know, why go for a 320? It's very ambitious, Alan, considering what we're seeing around the industry now as smaller, compact electric machines. Why would you go for the 320 in such a way? Yeah, so the, the, the smaller compact machines have all got their space and we know that our customers are asking for that. We wanted to understand what that would look like for a bigger platform. These are productivity-based tools. Yep. We know that they're a favorite amongst our customers. We want to be able to show them that we're with them on their journeys to sustainability, and we want to understand their feedback from them when we present them to, with this and, and work with them to, to get along that zero emissions journey. Now we're taking electric away from the small applications to the general applications. Now what we've got with that is we've got a real opportunity to show people on a job site with a series and a fleet of these things in the future that actually enable us to do the job and realise how we can get rid completely, folks, of idle time. Because the idle time on these machines on some sites on diesel, 30, maybe even 40% idle time as they're waiting to do things. You're waiting to do things in electric, Alan. You're not using any battery, are you? No, that's right. That's a fair point. And what we're doing is we're, we're working with our customers to learn what their drive cycles are like, what their operators are doing with the machines. And, and you're exactly right. In some cases, we're seeing high idle times. Some cases, we're seeing high productivity requirements. Yeah. And exactly right. What we're able to do with this is we're able to downspeed everything, keep the AC going in the cab to keep the operator comfortable, keep the radio on but at the same time conserve that energy that we've got on board so that we can keep delivering it when they need it for the work that they've got to do. So it's a prototype, guys. It's physically here, though, and it works, doesn't it, Alan? And so what we can do now uh, is go through that cycle of taking this around the world as a machine and looking at the environments it's going to work in and, and the kind of tasks and applications it's going to do, don't Yeah, that's exactly right. So what we've got here, this machine functions, as with all the other prototypes that we've got on the stand here. All these electric machines have driven themselves in here and our working tools. We want to work with our customers and our dealers, understand how they're going to operate these, how they're going to implement them into their site structures, and really put it through its paces so that we can make sure that we deliver the, the solution that they expect from the Caterpillar brand and all of the support that comes behind that. And guess what? With a machine as big as this, you can actually do the infrastructure you need for a machine as big as this. <laughs> so you can put in the pipelines, you can do all the different things, put in the cabling into site, and we can actually see them working in that context. But also, when we're looking at the battery power, what you've done and you said there is you've designed your own battery. So you're not taking something off the shelf. Why is that important, Alan? What, and what does that give you as far as an ability to power this and, and to play with with the power and, and the charging capabilities? Yeah, so I think what, what that's offering us and to our customers is an OEM solution straight off the bat. So if you're used to dealing with our Caterpillar branding and our Caterpillar dealers, we can now offer this turnkey solution we're in control and we can understand how we want to manage the battery, how we want to manage that performance and, and use it to its best. And I think with that comes the opportunity, again, as we do with some of the older units, as these things get older, is actually look at how you recharge and re-engineer uh, these products for the future as battery technology changes. You know, when you've got your own battery uh, infrastructure, you can actually make sure that that is rising up as the technology rises up as well, can't you? Yeah, that's a great point. And I think that's the journey that we're going to now be going on together with, with everybody that's in this space is we've got, we, we all know we've got technology, technology available to us today. We want to be able to, to adapt with it and move with it so that our customers get the best possible solution they can. By being in control of that, we can, we can try and deliver that with them in, in a good manner. So it's full power ahead here on the stand here with Alan, the 320 Cat Electric. It's real. I can touch it almost, folks, <laughs> but it's surrounded by this lovely area. But what we're saying is we are now taking electric to the next level, the level of productivity efficiency that people want on the bigger job sites. And Alan, you and your team have been very busy. Congratulations for bringing this to Bama. Great to meet you.